Have you ever noticed how most TEDx and TED speakers have a very specific style of slides and they're pretty attractive and compelling? Well, in this presentation, I'm gonna share with you five things that you can do to have TED-worthy presentation slides. Presentation slides are an awesome tool. I love them and I use them in almost every presentation I give, but they can also be an opportunity to really screw up. They can be boring, they can be ugly, they can be text heavy. There are all sorts of ways that slides will actually impede your message rather than support it. So before we get into the how of how you can have TED worthy slides, we wanna think about one core component of slides in general. People sometimes use slides as a crutch. They use them as a way to not have to really memorize or know their material. They might put a slide on a screen full of bullet points so that they can, and they read the bullet points, which is pretty much the worst thing that you can do as a presenter. So we wanna move away from looking at slides as a crutch or something that we lean on to help us and instead look at slides as a way to support what we're saying, to illustrate it, to add color to it, to add emotion to it, to make the audience laugh, to introduce, introduce surprise. There are all sorts of ways to use slides, but we never ever want to use slides in order to help us remember our presentation. Now, the way I use it, I'll tell you a little secret. My slides help to trigger what I'm gonna say, but I never have my text on the slide. Once I see the image that comes up on the screen, I know exactly what needs to go alongside that image. And while I don't memorize anything, I know the story or the point that I'm trying to make with that image. Which kind of leads me to point number one in the how part of this. Point number one is one concept per slide. One concept per slide, that's it. And this is why I use images so heavily in my presentations. I use an image and I know that that image represents a specific concept or story or something that I want to get across. And every single image is a different concept. So one concept per slide. If you find yourself packing a whole bunch of bullet points into a slide, you're doing the wrong thing and that's not TED worthy. The second point is to use images. Now I mentioned this a second ago and using images is a way to really drive home a point and create an emotional connection with your audience. Second to creating an emotional connection is creating a conceptual aha moment. Those are the two reasons that you want to use slides or to use images in your slides. One is to have people have a feeling, to feel something, and the other is to have them understand something in a new way. So image heavy presentations, if you notice, TED speakers rarely have text on their slides, or if they do, maybe it's one or two words, and instead they'll use one big full frame image to illustrate what they're talking about. And full frame really looks so much better than putting an image in a box or in a, you know, in a smaller frame on a slide. Use up as much slide real estate as you can. A third piece is to use data and to illustrate data, data with pictures rather than with numbers. So rather than putting your data on the screen as a list of things or percentages or decimal points, what you wanna do is make it a picture. Turn your data into a pie chart, into a bar graph, into something that illustrates your point without a whole bunch of numbers and text on the page. The fourth thing is to just stay away from using a lot of text in your slides in general. Focus on images rather than text. Bullet points are a no-no. Your text should be at most one or two words. Maybe every once in a while you can have a quote or a sentence, but generally that should come from you and the slide should just be an illustration, an image, or something to support what you're saying. The fifth piece is design. Having beautiful design is so important and it's so easy. Stay away from the PowerPoint templates. Don't use the templates that come for free with your Mac. Just stick with plain full-size images on a screen with one or two words. Don't belabor it, don't add a lot of graphics, don't use animations, just keep it simple. Simple fonts, simple colors. In other words, don't over-design. 
So I hope that was helpful for you. Those are five ways that you can have TED worthy slides. If you're interested in becoming a more powerful presenter, speaker, coach, leader, author, expert of some sort, then we are the experts. We are the superstar activators. And you can click on the link below, book a call with one of my superstar lead coaches to find out if and how we can help you grow your business. Enjoy.